uh, committee or you're not involved in any of these groups that are actually making this stuff happen, like, you know, you can be in there. Or, um, you know, and then and then in terms and then also maintaining the, the GA structure for people without the group. I think the main idea about this though is that within the structure of the GA it's really difficult to go through the different minutia that different ideas carry with them. It's like, you know, someone will come up with an idea and everyone will be down with the idea, but then, you know, someone will say, well, I think maybe this idea should be worded this way, or someone will say, well, I actually think it should be worded this way. And they'll have these long, drawn-out conversations in the GA that, that ultimately, like, can be carried out in smaller groups or carried out in a different context in a more efficient way. So, I'm for the post count. I just think it's important that we realize that we, we structure it as it's a, it's a group empowered by the GA to do a specific thing with the logistics of the camp. And I don't think people come in like me, I don't live here, I shouldn't be making decisions about what they're going to do. I don't want that. I mean, that would be right. For sure, yeah. So, but I just think people are saying it as a competitive. Yeah, that looks like that. It totally makes sense. I, I, I'm for the spokes council, pretty much, I believe. But my only issue is kind of still the same issue is the sharing of knowledge. I mean, I work in the information department, and it's like pulling keys to get any information from anybody. Most of the people in the camp do not have computers to be able to follow what's going on, and those are the people that matter, you know, if stuff's only posted online or whatever, it makes it very difficult to track what's going on, and then I'm up there talking to everybody first coming into the camp, half the time sounding like an idiot because I can't get the information from the committee, you know, and if that's, if we start, and that's, if we still have those problems, it doesn't matter whether it's a spoke wheel or anything else, if we can't share and disseminate the information properly. Yeah. I think the way in which we're hoping the folks don't come on, and I think I think the issue of like communication between committees and like like the sharing of, uh, of information is, is something that's been brought up as an ongoing issue. And I think one way in which the, the folks council would hopefully empower our group to do a better job of that would be to have a context in which all the committees are there at one time, all the people in the committees, and everyone can go, hey, like how are we going to come up with one really great system for making sure that all this information is being collected and disseminated to all the people who need that information when they need it. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of the thing is like, a lot of times people are discussing at the GA, people will have ideas and, and it's not even, you know, it's not even clear whether those ideas are making it to the groups that are in charge or like, or would be in charge of making them happen, so. Um, right now, are there, is there anyone who hasn't had a chance to say and something they feel like and they would like to now, just to make sure no one's getting I, I guess I'd just like to say, I think this is an awesome idea because I reckon, like, in this group of people, like, this is, like, the maximum size, almost, that you can have a conversation between people without it just obviously being too many words. <laughs> so already it seems like a really awesome idea. And disseminate how that pattern <laughs> Yeah, I definitely feel like my voice is being heard much better like, right now. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Gotta get the side. I just think this is far more efficient. We've already covered so much more information than, I mean, just in the past, like, five or seven minutes than we should have. <laughs> Are there questions people have about it, or we just want to be able to make decisions that work for me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there is uh, a point that I want to bring up, which is that uh, I think this folks playing model is an interesting model, and I'd be eager to give it a try. But I don't think it fundamentally addresses the problems that the DA is having, which is that we don't have any power to enforce a decision. We are still entirely an organization of volunteers, and unless and until we come up with a concept of governance, we can't govern ourselves. The GA is a council, not a government. And the sports model is also a council, not a government. And if we want a government, we have to make it. Um, did, you want to speak, did you want to speak to that? Yeah, I mean, we don't really have any really enforcement. Yeah, yeah. No, right. So, so what, for example, if somebody, if uh, some governmental authority says, we want you to clear out of the park, uh, we don't have any way of saying, you know, speaking for us, this is what we do, unless we go through the GA, and we can't always get 
going to answer the best enough for what we need. We need more of an ability to delegate authority to people who can exercise it. And we don't have that. And this, this proposal, I don't see a problem with it, and I'm happy to give it a try, but I don't think it addresses the problems that we're dealing with. Um, I definitely think this is an attempt to step in that direction of, of taking a, uh, account of the fact that, you know, in the GA a lot of times we have a lot of great discussions, but the people who are on the ground implementing stuff are the least represented group at the GA. And so this is an attempt to at least get the people who are taking care of the logistics of the camps, the different committees, medical, safety, all that, together so they have a collective space to discuss and work through problems and come up with at least try to come up with pragmatic solutions that they feel like they can implement since they're the ones present here doing all that work. So while it's not necessarily a full system of like of government which allows us to enact regulations and enforce regulations, it's, it's at least creating a body of people who are at, uh, attuned to what's going on and what kinds of things need to happen in camp versus people who come here afterwards and then go home, you know, and that kind of thing, which is a huge, uh, a huge percentage of the people at the GA. And, uh, and, you know, not that that's a bad thing, but it's, it's an attempt to kind of bridge the two bodies, you know, because right now we have a body that, that's semi-functional. I applaud the intent. I just don't... <laughs> I think, I think this growth model is a really good step in that direction. In my experience, uh, the best way to give somebody authority is authority to act is for people to be comfortable. And if you're doing the work, all the people in your space, that's where you get a social contract where you know other people. Mike Jack! Mike Jack! Mike Jack!